Standing up on his knees, bitch, please. Well, the only thing you can't steal was came out to play. Stay out my way, motherfucker. First we gonna rock, do we gonna fall? Do we let it pop? Don't let it go. Oh, that's different. Don't give it to you. What? You look different. I changed. If you were to ask Rick to describe himself, he'd say he was a romantic at heart. I'm adventurous. I love to travel. I love the outdoors. Great art, great movies, great wine. Forever young. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. So... Your mom tells me that you have a new, uh, best friend. What is that supposed to mean? That, you know, <laughs> you got a new best friend. <laughs> you know what, Rick? Why don't you go fuck yourself? How dare you speak to someone like that? Who? Rick? Don't be a smart ass. Did I offend you? Apologize right now. In retrospect, I was a little cunty, but Rick does suck and I was angry for a lot of reasons. Rick, I sincerely apologize for telling you to go fuck yourself. Hearing this correctly, you want to tell McKay that you made out with Daniel at the carnival and on Halloween? Yeah, but I don't, I don't have to say it's Daniel. Bitch, that's the craziest idea I've ever heard, right? For sure. Yeah, but I want to be honest with him. Uh... You cannot tell McKay. But it's not like I cheated, cheated. Kissing is worse. It's so much more intimate. And if anybody brings it up, you deny, deny, deny. Okay, but it, I just, I don't want there to be something that's bought between us forever. I wouldn't worry about it, Cassie. It's not like you guys are gonna be together forever. Kat, what the fuck is your problem? You're being a bad friend now. You are a bad friend to me and this whole new personality is seriously unlikable. World star! Why? Because I won't sit and listen to you bitch and moan about your psychotic, abusive boyfriend who you've literally broken up with a thousand times? It was literally the lowest point in my life, so yeah. That and the fact that you're just fucking mean. Maddie, ever since I've met you, all you talk about is yourself, your clothes, your boyfriends, whatever superficial shit you think is so fucking important. Sorry, I'm no longer interested. I don't know about everyone else, but I miss the old cat. You know, the one who had a sense of humor and wasn't a fucking cunt? Damn. Now let me just be real straight with you. You ever been to rehab, Roy? No, I'm true. Roy, I'm... Troy, I don't give a fuck. I said, have you ever been to rehab? No. Well, in rehab, there are some real fucked up motherfuckers. We're talking people who are on the hook for armed robbery. Attempted murder. Real fucked up shit. Hardcore motherfuckers. It's true. I went once. It was scary. You know what happens when you spend an extended amount of time in rehab? You tend to make friends with those hardcore motherfuckers. So let me be very clear with you. If you so much as go past first base with my little sister or try to get her high again, I will call Omar, I will call Marlo, I will call Avon, I will call Brother Mozone, I will call fucking Bodie, and I will call fucking Stringer, and I will have these motherfuckers standing outside of your front lawn. Do you hear me? Or even Weebay. A hundred percent. Do you know what kind of people these are? These are the kind of people who will strip you fucking naked and go to work on you with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. Do you hear me? Ru, I think he understands. I don't think he understands. Tell her you understand. I understand. There you go. Now go in there. Tell my little sister she looks nice. Yeah, I think you look really nice tonight. Really? Yeah, really. I'm Bob Ross. The painter from PBS? <laughs> hey, creepy. <laughs> the whole point of Halloween is to look attractive. No, it's not. Oh, really? You do me a favor and you count how many girlfriends of yours are dressed up like 50-year-old men. Report back to me. Is it too much? 
No. Absolutely no. not. Wow. <laughs> Jules, what are you doing? Although I joy in me, I have no joy in this contract tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Jules, you're drunk, OK? And you sound like an idiot. Can you please get out of the pool? Air, one can say it light and sweet good night. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when we next meet. And maybe Ellie was right about Jules. Because this doesn't feel good. Stop, OK? Can you stop? Stop. 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 Stop.